Today we're going to solve a nice nonlinear differential equation, and this was suggested from the integral suggester, who I guess is now the differential equations suggester. So I welcome all sorts of problems to be suggested. And the rule here that is kind of at the background of all kind of nonlinear differential equations is if you have a non-separable, non-exact nonlinear differential equation, then it's essentially impossible to solve unless there's some nice trick which will transform it into one of those types of differential equations. And here we'll be able to transform our differential equation into a linear differential equation. Okay, so let's see what we've got. We have the differential equation y prime plus e to the y equals 2x plus 1 over x. So the fact that y is in the exponential function here, that means it's nonlinear. So let's start with a substitution, and the substitution is going to be based off of this exponential function. So let's set z equal to e to the y and see what that will do to our differential equation. So notice that means by the chain rule that z prime is equal to y prime times e to the y. But that means that y prime is equal to z prime over e to the y, but e to the y is z, so we have z prime over z. So let's see, we've got our substitution for y prime, we've got our substitution for e to the y, and those are the only appearances of y over here, so that means we can substitute all the way into our new variable. That gives us something like this. We have z prime over z plus z equals 2x plus 1 over x, like that. Now, where do we want to go from here? Well, this z prime over z gives me a hint like we're taking the derivative of a reciprocal function. But it's not quite that. But we can make a transformation by multiplying this entire thing by 1 over z and turn it into that. Okay, so let's see exactly what I mean here. So we're going to take all of this and multiply by 1 over z. And that's going to give us z prime over z squared plus the number 1 equals 1 over z times 2x plus 1 over x, like that. And like I said, this guy right here looks like I've taken the derivative with the chain rule of a reciprocal function. So that gives me some motivation for my next change of variables. So now let's set u equal to 1 over z. Notice that means that u prime is equal to minus z prime over z squared, again using the chain rule. Okay, and now we can substitute into what will be our final variable. So notice this guy right here will be minus u prime because we pick up this minus sign here. So we have minus u prime plus 1 is equal to u times 2x plus 1 over x. But now we can rearrange this a little bit, and we see that we get u prime plus 2x plus 1 over x times u equals the number 1. But notice that's a first order linear differential equation. Recall that first order linear differential equations have the standard form of u plus a of x times u equals b of x. So I should have said u prime there. So that's the standard format of a first order linear differential equation. That's what we have here. So let's maybe bring that up and then we can quickly finish this one off. So on the last board, through a couple of substitutions, we ended up with the following linear first order differential equation, u prime plus 2x plus 1 over x times u equals 1. And this was the substitutions we used. So z was equal to e to the y, u is equal to 1 over z. Putting that all together, we see that u is equal to e to the minus y, which is the same thing as y equals the natural log of 1 over u. So now we could attack this as we would attack any sort of first order linear differential equation, which generally means we need to look for an integrating factor. So there's kind of a formulaic way of getting at the integrating factor, but I won't use that here. I'll just make the following observation that we can multiply this entire differential equation by something so that the left-hand side looks like a derivative with the product rule. 
And so in this case, what we'll notice is that if we take the function x times e to the x squared times our function u and take its derivative by, like I said, the product rule along with the chain rule here will give us x times e to the x squared times u prime plus, let's see, it will be 2x plus 1 times e to the x squared times u. Okay, so just to see what happened here when we took the derivative of this x times e to the x squared, we got all of this stuff just kind of FYI. So notice if we multiply both sides of this equation by let's say x times e to the x squared, then we form this right hand side over on the left hand side of this. Okay, so let's just be careful about that. So we're gonna take this guy right here and multiply by x times e to the x squared. And that will give us x times e to the x squared times u prime plus 2x squared plus 1. Sorry, this should have been 2x squared over here times e to the x squared times u equals x times e to the x squared. So that's what we're left with. But then by this observation, we see that we can take this entire left-hand side and write it as the derivative of x times e to the x squared times u. And then we've got our right-hand side is x times e to the x squared. Now we can take the antiderivative of both sides or maybe apply the fundamental theorem of calculus or something. And that'll give us x times e to the x squared times u is equal to the antiderivative of this, which we can do with a simple substitution that gives us one half e to the x squared plus a constant. And just for the sake of simplicity and the simplification, instead of writing plus c, I'll write plus c over two. I can like absorb a two into that constant or a half into that constant kind of as needed. And now we can easily solve this thing for u. So let's notice we get u is equal to, let's see, one over two x. That'll be this first term. Notice the e to the x squareds cancel. And then we'll have plus c over 2x e to the x squared. But now we can give ourselves a common denominator and we'll see that we have e to the x squared plus a constant over 2 times x times e to the x squared. So that is equal to u. But notice y is equal to the natural log of 1 over u. So that gives us our final solution of y, which is the natural log of the reciprocal of this. So that'll be 2x e to the x squared over e to the x squared plus our constant. And that is our final answer. And that's a good place to stop.